everyone and welcome back to Upside Down Disney. If you're new here, my name is Jess and welcome back to yet another Wishable Wednesday. So here on the channel, we like to unbox Wishables or unbag Wishables, I guess, on Wednesdays since that is typically when they release in the parks and on Shop Disney. Um, so and the alliteration and everything of it, it just makes sense. Wishable Wednesday. So we have the new 50th anniversary wishable series to unbag today there have been two other wishable releases since then there has been well at the same time the snow white wishables released and then just today on shop disney the day that i'm filming this november 8th um which is not a Wednesday, um, the Fantasmic Wishables dropped on Shop Disney. Um, but they had released like the previous Wednesday at Disneyland. I know for sure. I don't know if they hit World yet, but somebody had released them like on Tuesday night at Disneyland. Um, and so yeah, those are up on Shop Disney as of me filming this. I don't know if they still will be. Um, they are now $14.99. It seems that that is just going to be the wishable price. Um, so I like Fantasmic. I don't know if I like Fantasmic enough to pay $14.99 for the Wishables though. Um, so definitely passing on those for right now. We'll kind of see what happens. The open edition one is Sorcerer Mickey. So like I'm hoping that he'll like stick around long enough to be put on sale at some point. Um, or I'll get like, I don't know. I do have a 25% off coupon on Shop Disney. So uh, maybe I'll use that and order some. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, but yeah, so that is basically what's going on with Wishables right now. Um, I am wearing a Disneyland spirit jersey today, even though I'm unboxing or unbagging Disney World Wishables because I just felt like the, the rose gold like and the ears went better with the 50th anniversary theme than anything else I owned. And I'm trying to still get like an exchange or a something for my 50th anniversary ears. So I don't want to wear them again um until I kind of know what's going on with them I reached out to shop Disney I'm still waiting for a reply so like I said we have the 50th anniversary wishables today to open I have I think six blind bags technically eight but I opened two already my partner ordered me a couple and wanted to see what I got when they got to their house so we opened them up together so I will show you those two at the end if I don't end up opening them up during the unbagging at all um so that way you can see which ones I got there so I'm hoping between those two and the six I have to open I will get a full set there are six possible options that we can get um there's five in the bags and then there is one chaser version so without further ado we're just gonna jump right into talking about these wishables um and who we can get all right so first up we have the two open edition ones that came with this set and they are mickey and minnie both in their little celebration outfits so first we'll talk about mickey um so he is in his little 50th anniversary suit which is all sequins and blue and gold and that like purpley iridescent like pinky color um He's got his little gold shoes on. He is just so adorable. Got the rosy cheeks, the stars in his eyes. The CVS receipt tag as per usual. And then because he is a little open edition one, he comes with the little tag. It says Wishables Walt Disney World 50th Anniversary Series Limited Release. Um, because all of the wishables are technically limited release, even the ones that are out of the blind bags. Um, all of these series are kind of, they release for a certain amount of time. And once they're on, they're gone. So yeah, we got Mickey Mouse right here. And then to go along with him, we have Miss Minnie Mouse. So she has a cute little gold bow on her head and then she has her adorable iridescent dress on that she is wearing for the 50th anniversary. I really, really love their 50th outfits. I think that they're just so freaking adorable. Another CVS receipt tag, of course, her little gold shoes. And then we have Minnie's little tag. So yeah, super cute. Like I said before, I did pay $14.99 for these guys. Um, this is like the only series that I'm willing to spend the full price of $14.99 to get right now. We'll see what else they come out with in the future. I really, really hope that they realize that this is kind of like pricing people out of wanting to buy the Wishables and they drop the price again because 
they're cute and people like them and they were like relatively cheap which was I think like the thing that drew a lot of people to them you know it was ten dollars for a little plush and ten dollars is pretty like reasonable in my opinion for something that size you know like a bigger size plush is usually like 20 but for like a little mini thing to pay ten dollars is like fine so but now that they're like up to 14 I don't know like how many people are gonna regularly pay 14.99 for these Bishop Bowls. I mean maybe people who are like insane collectors but I can just kind of see people not wanting to pay that much money for these toys and then just kind of passing on getting them um in the future I don't know Maybe that's just me, but I don't know. But so like I said, we do have six blind bags. I had to order these in like sets of two. Um, so like I said, I technically have eight because my partner ordered two. So I ordered two orders of two. So I ordered Mickey and Minnie and two, and then I ordered two separate. And then my mom ordered two, and then my partner ordered two. Because I don't want to place too many orders under my account and have them all get like flagged and canceled. Um, so I figured I would just try to get away with the two orders and then have everybody else kind of pick some up for me as well. Um, so I'm hoping that we complete this collection with all of the bags that I ordered. Um, if not, I will definitely be looking to trade them. So if you have any of the ones that I end up needing, or I have any of the ones you end up needing, definitely let me know and we can try to work out a trade for them. Um, but yeah, so here are the blind bags, Disney Park Fishables, Walt Disney World 50th anniversary series, limited release. You have all the different characters on there and then you have the fun designs on the bag all the little silhouettes of like fireworks and the castle you have the 50th anniversary logo on there as well i feel like this one is like not showing up as well on camera maybe it's like the coloring of the bag um but yeah you got a bunch of super cute little designs on there and then here on the back, we have all of the different options that we can get. So again, all of these are $14.99, the blind bags and the open edition, you know, non-mystery ones. So the options that we can get in the mystery bags are Donald, Daisy, Goofy, Pluto, and Dale. And then there is a chaser that is Chip. Um, I don't know why Dale was the one in the bag. Like, Chip is the chaser, not Dale. I, I don't know, because I feel like it's Chip and Dale. Like, Chip's name always comes first, so I would have thought Chip would be, I don't know. Either way, they're both in here, and they're both options that we can get, and I'm hoping that we do get them. So, without further ado, we're just going to get right into it, give these bags a feel, see if I can guess who is inside. So, first bag up. I feel like this might be Pluto. Because I think I feel a bunch of feet. I think we got Pluto. Yep. Oh, he's really cute. So we have Pluto and his little 50th anniversary outfit is just a little 50th anniversary collar. So it is gold and iridescent, like purple, whatever color they're calling this. And little Pluto has some stars in his eyes, some rosy cheeks, and then he's got his little tongue sticking out. He's doing a little blip. And then his CVS receipt tag, of course. They really, like, I don't know what the point in making these tags super long is because they're just annoying and they're not good for displaying the wishables and I don't want to cut them off. Like, I don't even think I'm going to take, like, these tags off of Mickey and Minnie. I usually will cut these tags off of all of the wishables I get. But I think I'm going to leave all the tags on. I'm probably going to save these bags as well. Um, because I feel like these are going to have like a lot more of a collectible value maybe than some of the other sets that I have. I mean, even though some of the ones I do have are very collectible. But um, just since they are the anniversary ones and kind of special, like I want to keep them intact. But um, yeah, so here's our first poll. Pluto, super freaking adorable. Second bag. This one might be, I think, either Donald, Chip, or Dale. This might be Chip or Dale. But. 
we got Dale. Right? Yep, that's Dale. So you can tell it's Dale because he has the little red nose. Chip has a brown nose. So there is Dale in his little celebration outfit. He has rosy cheeks too, which I absolutely love. He has the little stars in his eyes. He has a little iridescent bow tie and a little vest number that he is wearing. He is so adorable. I really do like, I have fallen in love with Chip and Dale slowly but surely because like they're just so cute. Like how can you not be happy when you look at these little faces? Like I ended up getting the, um, the Halloween plushes of them in the little pumpkin because they were just so cute. And then I got the 50th anniversary McDonald's toys and now I'm making sure I collect these wishables of them. Like they're just, I'm really liking Chip and Dale recently. All right, now for my other bags. They're all still wrapped up in these like plastic bags that they send them in. So bag number three. Let's see who we got. Oh, this might be another Chipper Dale. Oh, is it? Yep. Oh, we got another Chip. Or, sorry, another Dale. So we have a double of Dale. First double of the unbagging. Bag number four. Let's see if we can't get somebody new. I think this is another Pluto. Oh no! It's Donald! Whew, okay, this really felt like Pluto. Oh, but Donald has kind of like big floppy feet in the front, so that's why he kind of felt like Pluto. So Donald, rosy cheeks, stars in his eyes, of course, little adorable tuft of fur on top of like feathers, his little iridescent suit number. He's got a nice little jacket with a vest underneath, looking super dapper. And then he has like really long floppy feet. Donald is super cute. I love him so much. All right, I've got two more bags to go. Let's see who is in bag number five. This could be Goofy or Daisy. No, maybe this is another... This is definitely not Daisy. I don't feel a bow on top. I don't think. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Oh no, it's another Chipper Dale. Oh my god, it's a third Dale. So there we have a third Dale for this unbagging. And we have one more to go. So we still haven't gotten Goofy, Daisy, or Chip. I'm hoping this one's Goofy. Kind of what he's feeling like to me, but we'll see. Nope. another Donald. Okay, so a lot of doubles, three Dales and two Donalds, but I still have these other mystery bags that I had already opened. And in this one, we got Miss Daisy Duck. Daisy is so adorable. I love her little purple iridescent eyeshadow. And then her little iridescent dress is super cute with a little like jacket number 
going on there. I like her little winky face, the stars in her eyes, the blushy cheeks, her cute little gold bow as well. Her adorable little gold shoes. She is just a super cute little duck. So we do have Daisy. And the other one I had gotten was Chip. So we did end up getting Chip and Dale. So Chip is super cute here with his eyes closed. He's doing like a little blip too. Got his little tongue out, it looks like. And you can see his little black nose, like a chocolate chip. Somebody, I forget who said it, but there was, I was watching a YouTuber and she pointed out that Chip's nose is black, like a little chocolate chip. Um, and so ever since then, I've very easily been able to tell the two apart. So there's Chip and his little matching vest to Dale. So here are the two of them together. I also just noticed they have little toe beans. Just like a singular little toe bean. So yeah, here they are. Super, super adorable together. So that means that really the only one that we need from this set still is Goofy. Because we got Daisy and Donald. We got Chip and Dale. We got Pluto. We just need a Goofy. And then we'll be all set with a complete wishable um, set for the 50th anniversary. So if you have a Goofy and you want to trade with me, um, definitely hit me up and let me know. I have two Dales and a Donald for trade. Um, I'd also be willing to trade them for some other wishables as well. Um, if there are other ones that you have, um, definitely let me know if there's ones that you're looking for and what wishables you have for trade. Um, and we can definitely see if we can work out, you know, a trade or a sale or something for these. Um, so yeah, if you have Goofy and you would want to trade for um, either of the Dales, definitely hit me up. I think I might save my extra Donald for my partner because they really like you know, Disney ducks and things like that. So I might save that for, uh, them, but definitely let me know if you need a Dale and you have a goofy, I would love to trade. Um, or if you have anything else, kind of let me know what you have and I'll see if maybe we can work something out. There are other wishables that I kind of have my eye out for that I would possibly be willing to trade them for. Um, so definitely hit me up or look out for me to post in the, um, wishable Disney parks, wishables, um, buy, sell, trade or whatever it's called group, um, on Facebook that Ryan from Disney pins blog runs. Um, that's where I kind of do all my wishable trading typically. So stay tuned for me to post in there at some point when I get my life together. I make no promises on how soon that will be. <laughs> um, but yeah, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite wishable from this set is. I definitely like, I have to give it to Chip and Dale because they're just, they're so cute. And I'm like really becoming obsessed with Chip and Dale lately that like, I feel like I am like late to the game because Chip and Dale was everybody's obsession a couple years ago when they first had their like whole dinosaurs and animal kingdom thing. Um, so I'm just kind of late to the Chip and Dale bandwagon, but we are hopping on it. And I, I love these too. Like just, they're so cute. Um, let me know what you guys think of the new price for wishables. Does anybody else like think that $14.99 is a little bit ridiculous? Like has it priced any of you out of collecting wishables now? Or are you still like, nope, I love them so much. I'm willing to spend whatever Disney wants to charge for them. Like go ahead, raise the price. I don't care. Um, I'm definitely in the like, it's too much, but it might also depend on the series. Like if they came out with more like Little Mermaid ones, or if they came out with like a Tangled set, I would probably have to buy them. But other than that, if like, unless it's something that I like super love, I probably wouldn't end up buying them. But that's just me. And maybe these are just temporary price raises while there's all the shipping delays and issues and stuff like that. Um, we'll have to see, you know, what kind of happens after the whole pandemic and all these shipping things and labor stuff kind of like smooths over if these prices stay or if they drop back down again. Um, but yeah, definitely let me know down below. I would love to talk about any and all things wishables with you guys. Um, what do you think of the Fantasmic set? I think they're really cute and I, I really want to try to get my hands on Chernabog um, for my partner. So if anybody has like an extra Chernabog laying around and has, I have a bunch of wishables that I have for trade if anybody would like to trade. So definitely like just let me know what you have. If you have like a Chernabog or a Goofy um, and I will send you all of my traders so that you can, you know, see what I have. But yeah, other than that, there wasn't really anything else. I mean, the Maleficent Dragon is cool too, but like, I just don't think that I can spend the $14.99. I'll have to see what it comes out to with my Disney Visa discount this month. But yeah, anyway, I'm rambling. 
leave a comment about your favorite wishables, your thoughts on the price raises, your thoughts on the Fantasmic set, anything and everything. Um, if you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so that you can come get stuck in the upside down with me again soon. If you like what I do here, you want to see and hear more of me, you can follow me over on Instagram and TikTok, both at Upside Down Disney. Um, I post extra unboxings over there. I just post other pictures and random things on my Insta. So definitely give me a follow on both platforms. Um, and yeah, thank you all so, so much for watching. As always, I hope that you guys are having a magical day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.